Today we're gonna to be talking about keyword research for your Amazon products and even for products that you're just thinking about selling. This is one of the most important steps to do because even if you're just thinking about selling a product, you have to know all the potential searches that your product could rank for and therefore make sales for. This is one of the most important things. Make sure you don't skip over this. And I'm gonna show you uh, three different methods on how to gather these keywords and at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you this tool that is literally the, like one of the best tools you will ever use in your life for your Amazon business. I literally check this thing hourly. It will save you so much time and it's literally, like I said, the best tool that you'll ever use in Amazon. So stay towards the end of the video and you'll see that. Okay, so I'm over here on uh, a product here. This is our example product. It's a beeswax candle. Uh, you've probably seen me talk about this in past videos, how I found this. You can go and see past videos if you want to. I don't recommend you actually sell this product because hundreds or thousands of people are going to be seeing me talk about this product. And, you know, by the time you go try to sell it, there might be a hundred new sellers selling this. So just keep that in mind. The, the main reason I'm doing this is just to teach you how to find products, how to do all this. So I'm just using this example product a lot. Okay, so here's our product. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find the ASIN. So we're just gonna go control find here. We're gonna type in ASIN. This is like the product ID here. It's also here in the URL up top. So what I want you to do is just copy that and we're gonna go over to Helium 10. This is, uh, this is a tool I use for so many different things. Um, they have a free version of it. So there's a link down below in the description. If you haven't got this yet, go and at least sign up for the free version. Uh, later on, you might want the paid version. If you do, I have a coupon for 50% off below. But um, right now we're gonna be talking about the magnet tool, which is keyword research. This is one of the tools we're gonna use here. So what I want you to do is just type in, since it's a beeswax candle, that's pretty much our main keyword. Just type in beeswax candle here and hit search. And you're gonna see it spits out all this information. There's 20,000 uh, searches on beeswax candle. This is per month. So there's 20 or 21,000 searches for this product per month, okay, just for that keyword, okay? And then I sorted this by search volume here. So it kind of shows like all the related uh, keywords for beeswax candles. So some are more related and some are not. Like essential oils, you know, that's not really, you're not gonna really rank for that so you, for uh, beeswax candles. So you can kind of just kill that one. You can delete them here as you are. But when you're, when you're looking for a product to sell or this is your actual product to sell, you're gonna want to go in here and find keywords that are very, very relevant here. Scented candles, beeswax candles, tea candles. And you're gonna wanna just make a list of all these and I'll show you where to put, where I store these and where I put these later on here in, in a few minutes. But you're gonna wanna just go through here and grab all the keywords that are just like completely relevant and even some that are like closely relevant. So for example, you know, you, you might wanna look for some searches here that most people might not think about. So you might wanna uh, look for like, I know this is home office, but you know, you, if you went through this whole list here, I mean, there's hundreds of keywords here. I have it ranked by search volume. You can sort it by these different things up here. But you know, natural candles, okay? And then you might find candles for the home. Okay, so like all those are different searches and, and ranking on page one or page two for all those different searches will provide you sales, okay? So you're gonna wanna have a whole master list of keywords that you can find and have these like in your listing in different places, whether it's your backend keywords or in your description or in your title because the more you can rank for, the more sales you're gonna get, the more searches, okay? So just go go through here, through this, through the magnet and kind of like grab like maybe the top like 50 keywords or so. Then we're gonna go over here to another thing. We're gonna go over to Cerebro and this is what's called a reverse ASIN lookup. So what I want you to do is again, take the ASIN here of the product that you're looking to sell, like one that's very closely re related or your own product. Okay, and then what I also want you to do is I want you to put in like three of your competitors' ASINs in here, okay? So if I actually go, go up here too, the magnet tool shows you 
several of the top products and you can actually just click this here and it will open it in Cerebro. But I already did that and I put in four different ASINs, four different product ID numbers and I hit get keywords, okay? And what this is gonna do, this is gonna show keywords that these four products rank for, okay? So I, again, I sorted it by search volume. So candles gets 200,000 searches per month. So if you were to make it to the top 10 of candles, You'd be, you'd be killing it. You'd probably be making fifty or $100,000 a month with just this one product. But that's very hard to do, okay? That's probably the hardest keyword to rank for, okay? So again, this is sorted by um, search volume. So let me show you another way. And again, these are just keywords that these four products rank for, okay? So put your competitor products in there, and it's gonna show you all the keywords that they rank for. So let me show you another thing, way to sort it here. I'm gonna sort it by ranking competitors, okay? And what this is gonna do is this is gonna show keywords that out of the four I have, it's gonna show, like for example, this keyword beeswax, it has 42,000 searches a month. Three out of my four rank for this, okay? And it's also gonna show the average rank. So the average rank for this is 140, okay? But the next one here, beeswax candle, this is like, it's split into three words here. And you can see candles, bee wax, you know, all these are different, you know, candle wax, bees, all of these are different searches, okay? So this is gonna show you how many of the products rank there and what their average rank is here. So like we could sort this by average rank here and you're gonna see, that's the low version. You're gonna see like, okay, these, the average rank here for these products is number one. So these are like super relevant for those key, you know, bee, bee wax tea light candles, uh, candle lantern, okay? So, you know, there's another word you might not have in there. And another thing you're gonna find here is sometimes you'll find product variations that let's just say you started to sell these bee wax, beeswax candles and you were making 10 or $20,000 a month or 5,000 a month or whatever you were making. You're like, wow, this is successful. I'm making money on this. I wanna move to another product. I wanna get another product that I could sell. Well, this will actually give you related products or other ideas that you could sell. So you could sell a beeswax candle lantern um, or a beeswax candle tea light set, okay? You can create a variation even and have it on the same listing where you have a beeswax candle and then you have another variation which is you know tea lights or maybe you have a variation that sells six of them and then a variation that sells 12 of them. Like once you find something working, you know, piggyback off that and then create another product, now you can make twice as much money. Okay, so all this is a way to find keywords that your competitors are ranking for and selling for. I mean, these their average ranking here is number one. So these are keywords here that your competitors or you, if you put in your ASIN, are literally making money. They're making sales on this every single day. Look, look at all these keywords here. And a lot of these are what they're called long tail keywords. You know, there's several words deep. There are three or four words. You know, beeswax, candle, lavender. Okay, that's a long tail search. But if you had a lavender um, candle in there, you know, that would be a great search for you. People are, you know, searching for that specifically, you know they're ready to buy. Okay, so again, you can sort this different ways and it will show you everything. But here's the best thing for you. So once you get all these keywords, I'm gonna want you to go to Keyword Tracker here. This is the best tool ever. I have a couple really good tools that I'm gonna show you in, in upcoming videos. This one is the best ever. Before this tool existed, I would go, and let's just say my product was Bees by Candle. We wanted to know if you, if you ranked on page one or if you ranked on page two or page five. You would have to go and manually search it and for every single, every single search, right? This literally does it for you, okay? So the free version, I, th and I think you can do like 20 or 30 keywords and they'll check it once a day for you. You can just go to this page. But if you have the paid version, you can put in like an unlimited amount of keywords. It's like, I don't know, a thousand or something, you know, and you'd have to have like a hundred products to hit that limit. And they also have this boost feature. Now I turn this on and what this does is this will check where you rank for that search every single hour for every single keyword. Now I just did this, so there's no like ranking change here because I literally just put this in there and uh, you know, cause this is just an example product, but it'll show you like, hey, you moved up 
plus five or minus 10 spots or plus 50 spots. Sometimes, you know, when you're like a new product and Amazon's trying to figure out your rank, it'll show you your ranking change here and it'll have like a little graph and it'll show you like where you ranked over the last 30 days. You can see if you're trending up or trending down. But this will literally search all these different searches for you. I mean, and again, you could put 50 of them in or 100 per product. It'll search it for you. And it, it'll show you your search. You could sort it by search volume. I have it sorted by rank here. So like here, they're on page one for this, page one for this. This is probably like page two. But like, look, organic candles and tea light candles, organic beeswax. Like what if they started to work on this keyword and ran some you know, did some launching techniques like, you know, pay-per-click or other things. And that's a keyword that they could potentially be making sales on, but they don't rank in the top 300. Okay, so this is going to show you where you're ranking for every single keyword on an, on an hourly basis. It's, it's such a powerful thing. And this will save you so much time because you won't have to go and search for it every hour of every day to know where you're ranking. And the other thing too is this particular product has a couple variations. Like they have a 12-pack and a 6-pack and... You know, I don't know, it's just an example. But it shows which variation here ranks, okay, in that search. So you can see there's a couple different variations for this because, again, they have a six-pack and a 12-pack. It'll show you which variation ranks here. You can even put your competitor, you can make a listing for your competitor if you really wanted to and see where they're ranking for a bunch of keywords and put it in there. So, yeah, this is a very powerful tool. This is, again, Helium 10. Uh, keyword tracker they have a free version of this and it lets you put some keywords in there and the paid version lets you put a lot more in there and also lets it uh, check every single hour so link to helium 10 down below you can download or you don't download it but create a membership for free so yeah if you have any questions ask me in the comments if not i will see you in the next video make sure you subscribe